Hey everybody, it's Matt from Eastwood. We're in the Eastwood garage doing another live tech se session for you guys. If you've never watched one of these before, we want it to be as interactive as possible. Uh, so if you join on Facebook or YouTube, you can join the chat. And uh, we have Scott over here as always, Scotty C. Yeah, man, so make sure you come up with some uh, good questions so I can answer them here live. I can shoot them over to Matt as well and get you guys taken care of. So let's see what the Fast Etch is all about today, Matt. So today we are talking about Fast Etch. Uh, Fast Etch is probably one of my favorite uh, chemicals that we offer. If you're doing anything uh, where you're dealing with a lot of bare metal, uh, this is probably the best product you could have uh, or chemical you could have around for quickly cleaning off uh, corrosion or rust on metal. Um, we offer the Fast Etch in uh, three different sizes here. We have our, our little guy, it's a 16, we have a 32 ounce, and we have a gallon. Uh, the 32 comes with the sprayer here. Whoop, there we go. So that's nice to have the, the sprayer. Now what this does is this is gonna clean and etch the metal. We use a phosphoric coating on the metal. So not only does it clean off surface rust, uh, it can clean rust out of pits. Um, it's also gonna, if you leave it on there and let it uh, dry, it's gonna leave a phosphoric coating that's gonna keep the metal uh, from rusting in the future. So anytime I'm doing any kind of work on a car where I'm doing a patch or something like that, uh, and I know I can't get back to it to get primer on it right away, or maybe I need to go back into the panel to uh, repair it in the future, uh, I'll spray some of this on and, uh, and get the major rust off and then I'll let it dry. That uh, seals it up uh, so that it's good until the next time I use it and I'm not fighting rust every single time I have, um, I have to work on the project. So uh, what we're gonna do is we have uh, Mark's Corvair here. And this is a perfect example of a project in which um, we, uh, I've been working on this for a while now and you can see it was stripped with the SCT, but just from moving the car around, touching it, uh, just the, the oils on, on the hands of anybody that's touched this, it's caused surface rust all over. And you can see, especially in this corner here, uh, where when anytime we push the car around, that's happening. So I'm gonna put all my safety gear on here. So Definitely want to wear some safety uh, glasses or goggles. Uh, you don't want it in your eyes. Uh, it does have a little bit of a smell to it, so I would suggest to put some kind of uh, either a respirator or a dust mask at the very minimum on when you're spraying it, when you're spraying a lot of it. Uh, another tip for you guys, uh, if you use a scuff pad like this or even steel wool while you're spraying it, it will help speed up the process for cleaning the metal off. So when I'm doing a large panel like that, I like to soak the panel and spray it, uh, or uh, scuff it with the pad at the same time. So open this up here. So I'll start spraying this on. I'm gonna let it get saturated into the panel. And then I'm gonna start working it just real light with the scuff pad here. And you can see it's already, I mean, I'm not pushing hard at all. It's just something to help help it along a little bit, especially in this area where we got a little bit of rust, a little bit of heavier rust. Now you don't want to get this, don't wear your, uh, your, don't wear your prom dress or your Sunday best because this will, uh, the acid in this will etch or damage your clothing. So I don't own a piece of nice clothing, so I'm not too worried about it, but most of you probably have Sunday bests. So, I'm gonna keep hitting this here on the top where there's a lot of fingerprints. And go over it real quick with the scuff pad. And this area here that I already started to, uh, we've already hit. I'm gonna use the rag here just to show you guys real quickly just that area. So I'm just wiping the excess off. We're still keeping a little bit of residue on there that's gonna dry on and leave the Fox 4 coating. Um, but I'm taking the major amount of rust that's kind of coming off uh, with the rag there. So what the rag's doing, the areas I'm just spraying, it's taking the rust off and it just leaves kind of a black discolored area. Uh, by using the scuff pad, it's going to take it down to perfectly clean metal. 
and take that, uh, those black marks in there off where the rust is gone, but it might be just a little discoloration in the metal from the rust. Any questions, Scott, while I'm finishing up this part of the panel here? Sure, we got a good one that they're asking if this is a concentrator that needs to be diluted or if it's ready to spray. So uh, to answer that one, it's ready to spray right out of the bottle. So even if you don't get the quart, you buy the gallon. Uh, I put it, I get it in the gallon and just put it into the cheaper uh, pump spray bottles. You pick up your local hardware store, you can spray through there as well if you want to buy larger quantities, but there's no dilution ready needed. Just ready to rock and roll like Matt's doing. Uh, one thing I want to add is it, it's not it's not a bad thing to dilute it if you want to do something that's uh, maybe you're not looking for it to be quite as aggressive. Um, you can do that. You can stretch it out a little bit by by diluting it a little bit. Um, but the problem is if you do dilute it, uh, you want to get it off the panel right away because you're putting water in with it. So um, that's one thing to keep in mind. But it is good right out of the bottle. It's very, very strong. Any other questions? Uh, someone else just asked, you know, about how long it'll last for. I mean, obviously with the so many variables included, you know, it, uh, how long it'll last. As long as it's kept indoors where it's not getting, you know, washed off with water, you're going to remain rust free for a long time. We've had guys buy this product and, you know, set a car aside during the summer in the garage, come back and be rust free and still ready to keep working. Like, you know, yeah, I got that's a, finishing off. Uh, I got a bed on my pickup truck on Pile House that I sprayed, I want to say two years ago with Fast Etch, and it is still good. Um, obviously, like I said, let it dry so that it left the coating on it, and it's been in a shop, but it's not climate controlled, and uh, it's been good. It hasn't rusted. So, big thing is you don't want it sitting out in the rain. I mean, other than epoxy primer or a good etch primer, almost any coating is going to break down from being rained on. So you can see uh, that's pretty good. I can hit that little spot there just a little more and then we're, we're pretty good on there. So I'm going to spray some on my scuff pad. And this area is quite rusty. I don't even know if they fully stripped this spot right here originally with the SCT. And nice thing with this is it gets in all these pits. So some of this metal is pitted and the scuff pad wouldn't necessarily be able to get in there. So it's getting into those areas. And if you want to let it sit overnight, maybe just something that you can't get in and scuff, you can, uh, you can coat the area with a, uh, you can put a piece of rag and soak fast etch in it and let it sit on the area. And as long as it keeps it wet, it's going to actually take that rusty, that rust out of the, uh, out of the metal after it sits. And it'll come out of the pits of the metal, which is really, really nice. And it's a nice alternative to blasting. Uh, if you guys don't have a media blaster or maybe you don't want to break it out for a project like this, it's a good solution. So this area here, it's real heavy. I'll probably leave a little bit more on here and just let it soak. Um, but you can see we're getting most of it off pretty quick with basically no effort at all. All right, so I'll wipe it down. And we can work on that area a little bit more later, but man, that looks much, much better. And now you can really see the, uh, the nice finish that the SCT gives as well in this panel. It looked, looked pretty bad before, but we got a nice coating. And I don't know if Joe can kind of get at the right angle there. You can probably see it's still got a little bit. Uh, I don't know. Can you see that, Joe? The, that it's still wet a little bit, maybe coming from a side angle, maybe. Um, but he's, uh, he's going to get in there. But you can see it's still got a little bit on the surface. I took most of it off already with the rag, but uh, we're leaving a little bit on there. That's going to basically dry, and that's, that's going to leave that coating on there so that it's not going to continue, continue to rust. So. Um, any other questions, Scott? Uh, one of the other questions that they asked was, would this work in a place other than just like the, the sheet metal? Uh, and is it, this could be used just about anywhere. I mean, there's so many uses, not even just automotive. I mean, how many guys have some free weights kicking around that have rusted up and they look horrible and you're sitting there like, do I really want to touch them or move them or use them? 
I've even used it on free weights and it brings them up so they look like they're brand spanking new. So oh, cool. there's yeah, so good. many uses for this product, not just, you know, the sheet metal of the car, frame, you name it. Yeah, I use it around the shop. <laughs> <laughs> um, around the shop, I use it a lot around the shop for like my vice, things like that. If you have a work surface on your vice or an anvil, if you guys have anvils in your shop that are bare metal, if you have a shop where the temperature changes, you might get a coating of surface rust all over your tools, your vice, your anvil. Uh, body hammers, anything like that. You can take the fast etch and really quickly uh, coat it and with the scuff pad get it off very, very quick. You can either let it dry and it'll be good and it'll keep it from rusting for quite a long time or you can take it completely off. Uh, if you guys are leaving this on and then you're going to be primering the car in the future, uh, our, usually what we suggest is to use our pre uh, and spray the panel down with pre or you can use acetone or, or panel prep and wipe the whole whole panel down really good. That's going to get any uh, residual fast etch off of the panel and dry it off. And once it flashes off and everything, you can start doing your epoxy or etching primer, whichever you choose, and go from there. So really quick and easy to get the coating off. It's not something you have to media blast off or anything like that. Uh, you can just wipe it down kind of like you would normally, and it's no problem at all. Any other questions, Scott? We're good. Cool. So that's all I got for fast etch today, guys. Uh, hopefully that's a quick uh, a quick way to show you guys how easily this works um, and uh, it's something that definitely should have in the sh on the shelf to use for prepping panels, uh, curing rust that's already on panels, or just doing preventative spraying down a clean panel uh, so it doesn't rust in the future. So that's all I got guys. Again, remember uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, uh, we do a tech session uh, here in the shop. We'll also give you guys every morning, 8.30 a.m., we give our daily deals, so you guys can hop on, check that out, and we do a different daily deal every day that you can only get that day, uh, so make sure you're checking those out as well. Thanks, guys. Catch you later.